Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Here I have a mini ball. Now, this is a traditional muzzle loading projectile. Uh, it's a cast lead bullet with a big hollow base. And the idea is that you can size this so that it's relatively easy to drive down the bore. And then when the gun fires, the pressure of the propellant gases will fill that hollow base and cause it to expand, uh, you know, giving you a good gas seal with the bore. Well, I'm curious to see what would happen if we turned that around and used it as a hollow point round. Uh, in that configuration, I might need to use a leather patch underneath the bullet to ensure a good gas seal with the bore. But there's no reason I can't do that. So uh, why don't we go ahead and load a few of these up. And I'll start by shooting a paper target to see if the accuracy is acceptable. And then if it is, we'll shoot a variety of targets with it and compare the damage of a mini ball fired forwards versus backwards. Okay, so five shots at 25 yards gave us about a three inch group. I'd say that's definitely acceptable accuracy. Uh, all nice round holes, no key holing, so clearly uh, the bullets are flying stably in their backwards orientation. And actually these are really clean holes, I guess, uh, loaded backwards, those mini balls are acting kind of like a wad cutter bullet. Now let's see what it'll do against a gallon jug of water. Uh, we'll start by shooting one of these with a mini ball in the regular orientation, uh, and then we'll try shooting one with a mini ball that's loaded backwards, and we'll see if there's any difference in the damage. Well, our standard mini ball did plenty of damage to our water jug. Uh, you can see the entrance hole there, but sort of split the thing open and completely blew the back out. The backwards mini ball, on the other hand, just blew the jug to bits. Next, let's try the same thing with a mostly frozen gallon jug of water, just because I tend to have a lot of these things around this time of year. Now with the frozen jugs, once again, the mini ball loaded in its normal orientation did quite a bit of damage, split the jug all open. But the backwards mini ball this time actually did noticeably less damage to the jug. And finally, let's try shooting a stack of 2x6s so that we can compare the penetration. Okay, so this was my first shot with a mini ball in the standard orientation. Uh, this was my second shot with a mini ball loaded backwards, but it landed so close to the first one that I'm afraid it probably wouldn't give us a fair comparison because it may have gone through wood that was already damaged by the first shot. Uh, so I took another shot with a mini ball loaded backwards, and that's this one. So let's take this apart and see how many layers each of these bullets went through. So, looks like none of them had any trouble going through the first 2x6. Okay, so here was my third shot, so the mini ball loaded backwards. Looks like it was stopped uh, somewhere in our second 2x6.
Okay, so these two bullets were basically right on top of each other at the interface between the third and fourth 2x6. Uh, you know, this one was in the furthest, uh, and clearly that's the one that I fired in the normal orientation, because you can still see the cavity back there. And then this one must have been my second shot, and that was kind of flattened on top of that one. Okay, so lining up these three uh, recovered bullets, uh, you can see they all expanded to some extent, but the ones that were fired backwards with the cavity in the front definitely expanded more, uh, which is exactly what we'd expect. And because of their greater expansion, they dumped their energy more quickly and didn't penetrate as deeply. Uh, you know, the bullet in the standard orientation went through basically four and a half inches of pine, whereas, you know, these basically went through three, uh, even though one of them may have gone a little deeper because it was kind of benefiting from the hole that was already there. Well, I think we can conclude that, in this rifle at least, loading mini balls backwards is a viable option, and while loading them in the normal orientation will maximize penetration, loading them backwards will maximize expansion and thereby potentially maximize damage to a soft target, uh, which is basically what I would have expected, but it's still nice to see some experimental corroboration of my intuition. Uh, in any case, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.